Hello everybody, Chris here and welcome to the 6th episode of the VHS Breakdown series where I do my best to explain to you as much as possible about VHS before it even gets released. And today's topics are weapon mods and monster mutations. Since in the last video we talked about monsters and their powers, let's start off with the mutations. So what are monster mutations? They are modifiers which change some aspects of how a particular ability functions. Mutations come with an improvement to one characteristic while deteriorating another one. Which means they are not necessarily a buff, they just change how the ability works. In the last video I mentioned that every monster has three different powers and each of those three powers will have three available mutations. That technically means that you will have four options to choose from. Now that we have that out of the way, I can give you an actual example of a mutation and how it changes the ability. They gave us information on six mutations so far, four mutations from Wart and two from Werewolf. So let's start off with Wart. We already covered his power leap in the VHS Breakdown Monster series, but let me go through it again. After focusing for 0.7 seconds, the Wart will leap forward at great speed. Upon landing, the resulting shockwells will cause all teens within 6 meters of the Wart will be staggered, slowing their movement speed for 1 second, and the cooldown is 7 seconds. This is one of the Wart's base powers and it will be automatically unlocked as soon as you play him. Mutations you will have to unlock as you go, but I'll talk about that in a second. Let's cover one of his mutations. Because of the face cam, we can't see the full name of the power, but what it does is, the leap's power stagger effect radius is increased by 25%, but the activation time of the leap is increased by 20%. So instead of affecting 6 meter radius, you will be affecting 7.5 meter radius and the cooldown will jump from 7 seconds to 8.4 seconds. As you can see, mutations are not here necessarily as buffs because for one person it might be a buff, for another one the same mutation might be a huge nerf. It just depends on your playstyle. They're here so you can customize and play around your strengths. Even if you want to play the same monster every game, you don't necessarily have to play them in the same manner. You can always switch it up. And this is gonna be much more fun for teens as well. If they keep on running into ward every game, not every ward is gonna be the same. They will have to adjust depending on the mutation they use and it already fixes the issue of repetitiveness that most games usually have. Let's take a real quick look into other mutations that we already know about. I do believe this one is called Throttle. The travel speed of the ward's leap when not taking weapon damage is increased by 30% and the base cooldown of the leap is increased by 35%. The mutation of acid armor called toxic armor. The base amount of health loss a team suffers from an attack while acid armor is active is increased by 15% whilst the damage required to shatter the acid armor is reduced by 20%. Mutation to echolocation called mimic. Uh, echoes created by echolocation now trace the movement of the affected team for 1.2 seconds. The activation time of echolocation is, in is increased by 25%. And now for the werewolf, the mutation of Berserk called Vicious, an active Berserk will remain active and have its duration extended by up to 6 seconds when you knock down a teen. The cooldown of Berserk is increased by 20% and the last mutation of Howl called Rabbit, the Howl cooldown is reduced by 25% whilst the maximum range of the Howl is reduced by 20%. And a quick question for everybody, did you see a mutation that you think you'll be running? Let me know down below. And for the last question regarding the monster mutations, how do I unlock them? Simple, through nodes in each monster's journey. The more you play the game, the more you'll be able to unlock and sooner or later you will have all the mutations available. Now let's talk about the weapon mods. Same as monster have mutations on their powers, teens have modifications for their weapons. It's basically the same thing. You'll be able to alter any weapon's functionality. And once again, it's not necessarily a buff. You're improving one thing while deteriorating another. So at the end of the day, it's gonna depend on your playstyle. You'll be applying the mods that you like to play with. To my knowledge, we still didn't get a single information on any of the mods, so we're just gonna have to wait. But it's a really good thing to know. Each weapon will have five available mods, though only one can be equipped at a time for a particular weapon. So I believe that's a base weapon plus five available mods, which gives you six options to choose from. Which is kind of insane in my opinion, considering that you have 12 weapons as it is. It's just gonna give such a huge variety to gameplay in general. And lastly, how do you unlock weapon mods? You'll be unlocking them by leveling up a particular weapon, which is done by earning points with it. You can earn points by crafting the weapon, using it to damage, stun or banish the monster. And once again, please let me know what are your thoughts on mods and mutations. Do you have any concerns? Do you think it's gonna be too much? Are you excited? Please feel free to share anything you have on your mind in the comment section down below. It's wide open, it's free. 
use it as you will. And if you find the videos enjoyable or somewhat helpful, please consider liking, it really does mean a lot. If you don't want to miss out on any future videos in this series or any other videos that I'll be posting for that matter, please consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell. All that being said, wishing you all a beautiful evening and I guess I'll see you in the next one. See ya!